That was an interesting game, the way it all played out. Um, one scoring early. The guys mentally stayed with it and uh, put together a really impressive ninth inning there. So uh, credit to that group for not checking out and actually staying locked in. Um, those are some really good at-bats there in the ninth. Tommy hit about 98 miles an hour off the outside edge. How much of that is an example of just going with it and not doing too much? That's a good piece of hitting. Um, went with the pitch, hit it hard, stayed through it. Um, yeah, impressive. I mean, a couple walks that inning were incredibly impressive as well. T.O. there. Those are some real at-bats. When you're watching the ninth inning, or the bottom of the ninth, progress from your perspective, how do those quality at-bats, when they continue stacking up, build the momentum for the next batter? Um, you feed off of it, and I think that's real. Uh, you see one guy in front of you take a real tough professional at-bat, you are uh, provokes you to do the same. And uh, we saw a lot of them in a row there. Yeah. When it goes to Tyler, I mean, he had struck out I mean, three times tonight and then gets into an 0-2 count. I mean, just how important is it to, like That's you said? That's an impressive at-bat to go from 0-2 there and then draw that walk, foul some pitches. I mean, that was, uh, that was a real at-bat and uh, allows us to do what we did in that ninth. That was probably one of my favorite at-bats right there. Was this a more of a culture win? Because we already talk about the team having good at bats and being patient in the ninth. If it was, do you like it that it's happening now in September? Um, yeah, it's easy to check out of that game just the way it's going early. You're not putting anything together, not stringing together quality at bats. Um, you give up that big homer to Voight and uh, to stay locked in. I do, I, I do think that speaks to the culture of that club and the overall mentality for them to um, stay locked in and figure out a way in the ninth there against a tough guy. Uh, uh, Ali, you talked about it the other day, finding different ways to win. But in the playoffs, you got to find, you know, random ways to win sometimes. Is this just another example of that? Yeah, it, it is a, another example of it. It's a quality of bats. It's more so just the fight there at the end um, is what is impressive to me. Um, the fact that the guys didn't check out was big. Jordan Montgomery did Jordan Montgomery things yeah. again tonight. You guys are seven and zero in games he has started. What presence does he bring to that rotation, and how much fun are you having watching him stabilize that? Yeah, we're having a blast watching him stabilize that rotation. He's done a really nice job, obviously, but the poise, the demeanor, the I mean, overall competitiveness he brings to the table. There's, uh, he's here for a reason. He's here to win, and you can tell every time he takes the mound. And that's the only thing on his mind. Um, made pitches. Established a fastball again, sinker played, uh, changeup was a good pitch for him, laying the curb. I mean, overall, just continues to do an extremely nice job. Did feel like it was kind of like a double away on that last step back? Yeah, that's tough there. A um, <coughs> couple more inches and, and that runner done score, but uh, still did a really nice job, man. Yeah. Did you, uh, did you see from Gio? 